Hey everyone, it's Ethan with Combat Radio here at Brigade Radio 1. One thing you need this fall is the Combat Radio Halloween album supporting social services. Featuring haunted musical and audio tracks from some of your favorite celebrity guests around here, including Respect the Dead, the audiobook. Go to cdbaby.com, enter Combat Radio Halloween, and get your copy today. Down under. I'm Nathan. I'm Ben. And I'm Benny. And you're listening to Brigade Radio 1. You're listening to Brigade Radio 1. So, this looks like a very difficult job. This looks like a trying job. This looks like a job. This looks like the Vietnam of jobs. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's terrible. You guys I wake go, up every morning and tough wish, job. <laughs> wish I had a different job or a different life. Do you? <laughs> we definitely, definitely pinch ourselves every morning when we get up. You know, it's we're truly blessed to have this job. We get to travel the world, meet new people, mm-hmm. you know, and we're traveling with our best friends as well, you know? Yeah. So, it's, yeah, every day we sort of, we get up and... And look around and go, geez, we're it's pretty lucky. It's definitely an adventure, that's for sure. Yeah. Now, that's Nathan and Ben. Ben, too. Now, you, so, Ben, are you, you guys are all best friends, which means... Yeah, there's, sometimes on a good day. There's yeah. A, yeah, there's <laughs> we're more like brothers, you'd say brothers. Yeah, so we yeah. fight like siblings, but, you know, we've yeah. also got each other's back all the time. Definitely. So there's a code of conduct, so which means we probably aren't going to hear too much of the real... Yeah, 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 we'll, yeah, keep, yeah. we'll keep it PG today. We'll keep it radio-friendly. <laughs> sure. I'm curious. We'll give you the scoop later. Talk me through the process, okay? You guys... You're living a normal life, then all of a sudden you decide, oh, there's a job in the paper, this thunder from down under, I'm going to go audition. Is that how it works? Or how did you guys, Nathan, I'll start uh, with you, how did you find yourself doing this? We kind of, most of us actually had friends that were already in the industry and was kind of like, hey, I wouldn't mind doing that, it looks like fun, and you sort of follow their Instagram, and then uh, they had a position come open, they sort of give you a bit of a referral, like, hey, I've got a friend that might want to do this, and I think most of us sort of had yeah, somebody who was nice. already in it, and then, yeah. you know, you can apply That's when they are yeah. looking for guys, and... Or who you know, you yeah. know, and... I got sick of building houses, so that's my story. Really? In the sun all day, I was on a roof when they gave me the call, like, you interested in coming to Vegas? I was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Threw that hammer off the roof, that I was day. straight on a plane, brother. Yeah. yeah, you didn't have to ask me I twice. I had two weeks, I think it was. Yeah, two it was, weeks to get over. Yeah, it was pretty, it happened pretty quick. <laughs> so how long have you guys been doing this now? Um, I guess when you're in a showroom and there's 3,000 people all just chanting and going nuts and throwing God knows what on the stage and drinks everywhere, like, you know, you don't get that building many houses. No. But you get like just some funny things. I was dancing once in the crowd and I've turned around and thought someone was pinching me and I've looked down and this this middle aged woman from the Midwest was had latched onto my ass like she was biting me. And like and I looked at her, she looked at me, we looked at each other, I don't think she even knew what she and was, it was doing. Love. But she's just hanging off hanging off my ass. So, with, with her teeth. Yeah. I was like, if that happened on a job site it'd be uh yeah. You'd right. be thrown down, but yeah, yeah, there's a whole other classification Co-HR. that happens on the yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it over to our military veteran. What? Give me a crazy moment where you're like, I've arrived. Um, I guess it's just pretty surreal when people like randomly come up to you and um, want a photo with you all the time. So if you don't really get that back at home, and you know, people just actually want your signature. That's pretty weird for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I'm illiterate. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a cool feeling, and they've got plenty of crazy stories out there, but they're a bit too. Uh, Two out there. So. Okay, Loda's got a question. This is our producer, Loda Hadley, who survived Warner Brothers Studios for two decades. <laughs> what this do we is, got? This is a realistic question because, you know, if my husband was doing this, or do you guys have problems dating when you guys have the job you have? Ooh. Oh, that's all uh, directed well, at you, Nathan, <laughs> for some reason. Uh, well, obviously, we're on the road. But, um, but uh, pretty much a whole year so having a girlfriend on the road is pretty much not ideal you wouldn't be leaving your girlfriend back in Australia or wherever for that amount of time uh, or would you uh, or would you yeah well smart man <laughs> <laughs> uh, some guys have left the show and they've got girlfriends along the way they've met their girlfriend or wife while they've been at shows and stuff so uh, pretty much all the guys that are on tour and that to be able to sustain being on tour they're all single so there's no policy between you dating the uh the fans. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm looking for a Canadian or American wife, so yeah. Yeah. yeah there's no policy against it. <laughs> there's no policy. <coughs> I'd like to see what happens tonight. I'd like to see if Send everyone can get out of this building too. alive. Send your applications <laughs> too. Uh, hook up with Thunder from Down Under at EDU. Uh, uh, I want to thank you guys for being not only a part of this show tonight, but being a part of our charity efforts this December, obviously. No worries. Thank you. Good luck tonight. <laughs> so thanks, thanks, man. You're going to have to fight it. your way through this crowd. 
Anyway, we'll thank you. This. this season with Brigade Radio 1. You are listening to Brigade Radio 1. You better subscribe to this channel before you look uncool.